Welcome to Med in 5 channel. In this video we'll be discussed about beta oxidation of odd number fatty acids. Let's start with a comparison. There is no difference between even number carbon and odd number carbon fatty acid oxidation, except the last cycle. So, we have the same cytoplasmic activization, the same mitochondrion cycles and each cycle produces one molecule of acetyl-CoA. In the last cycle of even number fatty acid, will be present a 4-carbon acyl-CoA, which produces two molecules of acetyl-CoA, while in the last cycle of odd number fatty acid, will be present a 3-carbon acyl-CoA, which will undergo carboxylation. The first step is the activization of the fatty acid. The fatty acid will, interact with coenzyme A, and will charge adenosine 3-phosphate macroergic compound. The product will be acyl-CoA, with a specific number of carbons. After the activization, the acyl-CoA will be transported toward the mitochondrion, to undergo oxidation. The process occurs in cytoplasm. It charges two macroergic compounds. The second step includes the beta-oxidation reaction cycles. The activated fatty acid, acyl-CoA, enters the reaction and within the help of FAD coenzyme and a dehydrogenase enzyme, provides a double bond at the beta-carbon position. The substance will be delta, in oil coa. Afterward, a water molecule will enter the next reaction, affected from the hydratase enzyme with the result of adding a hydroxy group in the double bond, beta-carbon position. The product is named hydroxyacyl-CoA. The hydroxy group, will help the NAD coenzyme and the dehydrogenase enzyme, to form a keto group. The product will be a ketoacyl-CoA. The last reaction will be initiated from lyase enzyme. Lyase will divide the ketoacyl into acyl-CoA, which now has two carbon less, and an acetyl-CoA. The first cycle of beta-oxidation has finished now. Acetyl-CoA will enter the Krebs cycle for energy gain, while the new acyl-CoA, will re-enter the beta-oxidation cycle. And the cycle will repeat. In the last cycle will be an acyl-CoA with three carbons and will need to undergo carboxylation process. The three-carbon acyl-CoA is named propionyl-CoA, which in the presence of biotin, 1-ADP molecule and propionyl carboxylase enzyme will from the substance, methylmalonyl-CoA. Afterward, the latter will be transformed by the mutase enzyme and cobalamin vitamin, into succinyl-CoA. Succinyl-CoA will enter the Krebs cycle for energy gain. Inside the brackets are show the ADP losses and profits. In total there are 17 ADP produced from succinyl-CoA. Let's take an example and calculate the energy produced from a 17-carbon fatty acid. Use this formula to calculate the number of cycles. In these case will be 7 cycles. In total we'll have 1 succinyl-CoA, 7 acetyl-CoA and 7 hydrogenated NAD and FAD coenzyme. Each of them is converted in energy. Take note. There are in total 136 ADP produced. But, since the activization charges 2 macroergic compound, the final result will decrease to 134 ADP. That's was all from Med in 5 team. Thanks for watching. For other videos like this, please click subscribe.